Joe, uh, first things first, welcome back to Franklin's Gardens. It must Thank be you, uh, familiar surroundings for you. Yeah, no, definitely. It's been, uh, I think, 13 years since I started at Saints when I was a youngster, 17, coming into the academy. So, uh, yeah, it feels a bit like a full circle. I've just uh, turned 30, so getting a bit older now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, amazing to be back. Obviously, quite a lot of change. The stadium's been developed. Um, obviously, new facilities, changing rooms, a totally different place. It's even got a jacuzzi, so it's uh, pretty nice to be back. But some things have stayed the same, haven't they? There's a few familiar faces around, and I guess it's a similar feel, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's actually quite nice that quite a lot of the coaching staff now are players I've played with. Phil Dowson, I've played with uh, Alan Dickinson, Shields, he was actually a hooker when I was a hooker, so uh, now he's a team manager. And then obviously the academy coaches as well, JC, Hoppers, etc. Sinclair. So there's uh, some familiar faces, which is nice to see them in the coaching roles, uh, but also a few of the players as well with Courtney, Dylan, etc. So um, nice to see some, see some familiar faces. And does that help settling into a new camp? It's not something you've done for a while moving into a new club, is yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's been a while, eight, nine years. So it's been a, been a bit of time, but yeah, it makes it a lot easier actually knowing people, um, as well as the players who weren't here when I was here but I've known over the years the likes of Woody etc um, so there's some some top guys here that I know pretty well which makes it a lot easier settling in. You've had to get up to speed pretty quickly as well haven't you with a game uh, a game tomorrow afternoon is that a good thing though to get thrown in at the deep end and almost learn as you go? Yeah definitely I mean um, you're in aren't you so you're in it you've got to go you've got to go home and learn it revise on uh, on my drive and uh, get to know all the calls so it's um, it's good there's nothing like being thrown in at the deep end I've missed all the horrible stuff which is a uh, could be a positive and then uh, yeah I'm just really excited to get going we were just talking about this weather you spent you were saying you spent a whole summer thrown in with dry balls calm yeah. conditions is this a bit of a game changer yeah this is ridiculous so everyone outside for the team room was like what is this a wet ball <laughs> like what's been going on we've just been sweating rather than uh, being cold and wet so yeah a bit different but it's getting us ready for Wales isn't it these pre-season games, um, often it's not so much about the result as about just gelling as a team and, and getting that match fitness back. Is that the case this weekend? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a pretty simple menu, all the stuff we're doing. It's about getting the ball in our hands, getting some physicality into our game and obviously getting to know each other. There's a lot of new faces here um, coming in this summer, so it's about boys gelling, getting time together on the pitch and actually just playing what you see. We're all good rugby players, that's why we're here. So um, not necessarily down to the detail of what players are going to do. It's about going out there, playing and expressing yourself. So. And it's a chance to put hands up for selection during the season. I guess for you, it's almost a long-term audition because you, you want to be here past October, this short-term deal, don't you? Yeah, 100%, 100%. So this has came up as an opportunity for, uh, for three months, which I couldn't turn down. And then there's an opportunity, hopefully, if I do well, that it could be prolonged. So um, I'm just coming in, giving it my best shot, um, see what unfolds.